What is up, everybody? <clears throat> All right, well, hopefully we can finish Lost Ball 1 today. Wait, is this already Ivan? I didn't realize you fought Ivan that quickly right after uh, Minotaur. I guess this is like that preview fight with him where the fight ends after he does his uh, NP, though. Uh, it doesn't really matter what we use then. Huh, actually, can you all not hear me? Because my mic is not muted, but I wonder if OBS had an update. My, my mic is on and it's showing an OBS and everything, so... Okay. People, people just had other minds. Alright. Uh, let's see. You know, because this fight's, like, not real, and, like, you can't lose, I'm gonna do something really silly, just cause. Hey, Coral, thank you for the Twitch Prime sub, man. One second, I'm uh, on my other phone for a moment. Okay, here we go. So, there's some new quality of life updates coming to JP, and they're worthless. They're, they're making it so your your mailbox, the more the icon for like the present box, will change depending on how many things are in your mailbox. Because you know that's that's the quality of life update that we needed. Like, it's just you gotta be fucking kidding me. I always say this. It's like they literally would, don't know what the game needs. It's like they're just making excuse updates. To like justify their jobs instead of, you know, doing things that, uh, you know, the game actually needs. Because I don't think they even know. But yeah, look guys, we're doing something, exactly. Let's see, this. This is some stall right here. I really like how you're not supposed to have mash, like, at, 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 you know, like, you're supposed to have VR mash later on. You're not supposed to be able to use regular mash. But you can always just, you can summon a friend's regular mash and you can have X. And there's actually plenty of boss fights where that's good, where it's like, it, it's it's a pretty reasonable uh, unit to go with. Wait, this fight's so easy, I should bring the switch just for these. Well, nah. And now it's level three, it's like, I don't, I don't really care that much, whatever. Yeah, I know, there's people that act like this is a good qu like, dude, there's just people that are so emotionally invested in the game that they, they, they have to justify everything. It's like people, like, trying to say that the command code UI is fine. You see that in, like, so many games, they'll have, like... How do I put this? Like... You'll have a game that's not free to play, right? You'll have a game that's like buy to play or it's a subscription game or something like that. And they'll have like microtransactions and people defend them, right? And it's just like, it, it, there's always going to be that. More DMCA stuff, I always want to know. Yeah, I know they've, just been, they've been deleting a lot of stuff that, uh, you know, Music or, or whatever. I'm gonna laugh if this fight you're actually supposed to break his first health bar. I don't think you are. I think this one you're supposed to just last a while. Camera classing, but doing zero damage. That's rough. Oh yeah, that's right. You get uh, Adam. We don't need the heals, but maybe we land a defense buff here. Good guy, Adam, man. So he's another good budget servant team for this battle. I mean, 100 phase. Like, this isn't the real fight with him. That's why I'm bringing such a stupid setup. The real fight's next. But really, 100 phase is just, like... 
Just typical stuff like, you know, Mash, Hans, whatever, you know, and then just 100 face. 100 face, it'll carry the shit out of you in this fight. Uh, there's absolutely no reason to run double match, so I'm just doing that because uh, it's something you almost never see, so it's kind of silly. Yeah, I remember I did this with a Jin case setup, and it was so much harder than with a. Uh... Oh shit! I should have. Oh, it's right. He, has... he can do buff removal. Wrecked. Feels bad. That 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 sucked for Hans. Man, I both are in peace though. Feels bad, but that's all right. He's got a uh, buff removal every once in a while. All right, let's see. I'm gonna think what I want to summon. That's the, uh, the tricky part. It's boring, but I mean, hundred face really is the way to go. But maybe just a regular hundred face, not like a grail one or anything crazy like that. Oh, that's right though. I don't have to do. I can. I can do. You know what? I I literally have a YouTube video of me doing this with like three star CES and shit, right? And it's like all hundred face nonsense. Maybe we show someone else off just for fun, right? Like. I, I got nothing to prove here, and like if people if people actually need help with this, uh, you know I got plenty of videos showing how to do it in different ways. So, I mean, even if your hundred face doesn't have amazing skill ranks, hundred face is still really good for this fight. Not Jekyll, good God, not that one. Look at you, chat. Hey, Looking Glass, thank you for the hundred bits. Uh, look, look, look at you guys, fucking fan of me, uh huh? I I'm thinking more of like, you know, something actually like rare that I don't like use much, you know. Like show off something different. Like, I don't know, Cleopatra or something. I, I did Matahari. I have a- wait, did I do Matahari? Yeah, I used Matahari with uh, with the Jin case setup. And, and Matahari is actually good here because there are turns where you're like, oh, please don't cast invulnerability this turn. Uh, and you can just put skill seal on him so he can't. So actually Matahari is pretty nice for this. Gray, Charlotte. If, okay, if, if anyone's got a Charlotte like worth a damn in chat, we'll use that. That that's. I actually am legitimately curious how she will perform compared to things like Hundred Face and all that kind of stuff. She's probably gonna have to be Grailed though. Like a non-Grailed Charlotte is just gonna be so weak for this. But yeah, I'll be kind of curious how she holds up. Like a, how how a Grailed Charlotte holds up to a regular Hundred Face. Speaking of which, this guy really needs to do the buff quest for his uh, Hundred Face. Looking like nobody actually has Charlotte in chat, though. Mine is only level 90. That's more than good enough, Faust, if you want to... Do I have you added? On this account? But yeah, 90's fine. Oh, there's Faust. Easy. Alright. That's gonna be tough, though, because our team is so goddamn weak. Like, our units are... Sad. Let me check some skill ranks real quick. Yeah. I can justify leveling that. I'm trying to think how I'm gonna do this. Uh, honestly, if this account had Matahari, I probably would bring her. Matahari's a pretty decent unit here. You get the damage up for the unit, and then you can really limit Ivan's nonsense. lore, but it's worth it. You never regret making Mash 10 10 10. Like, it's such a good investment. I'll stop there for now, though. I'm not really sure. I have a lot of things that need Golem Crystals, so...
Another unit that I never regret. Like Ku, David, 100 Face, Ushi, Mash, Mozart, Hans. Those units are such good investments that I don't like, no matter how much it hits me on a mat, I don't, I'm not gonna regret boosting them like they're all so good. Hans's third skill is so good now. Like, it was pretty decent before, but, you know, his second skill was his best one before, but now his third skill is just amazing. Alright, that's good. Uh, Hans is in B5 now. Uh, yeah, that, that did take a while. Mm, what an like, that was like last stream, actually, that we did that. Alright, let's see if we can get Faust in here. There he is, okay. What do we want to do here? Let me think. His NP's AoE. Either Nash or George on the front. Some tense music. All right, that's decent. Do I care about David's NP? It's okay here, but mainly want him not to die. All right, let's try this. I farmed 40 bones for Billy the other day. Need more for 100 face. Yeah, that's, welcome to FGO. There's no winning with like what time of day you stream at. You're gonna always screw over somebody, so. But I do try to mix it up every once in a while. Though sleep apnea has been making it very difficult to control my streaming schedule, but you know. Do I cast her evade now? I think yes. Now, if you get one of his health bars low, it makes him more likely to cast vulnerability, I'm pretty sure. And that's where the buff removal is, which is team-wide, so... You gotta be pretty careful with that shit. Which is why Matahari is nice, because if you know there's a turn you're gonna, like, foobar his health bar, you can, uh, skill seal that turn. He doesn't have this AoE attack, Einstein. Oh look, it's a single target attack. Do I want to keep 100 faces first skill for her NP, or do I want to just heal now? Hmm. I think I can at least wait one turn to heal. Normally it's nice to heal early, like, you know, but... Looping is good. Oh, 
くにしてこ、こにしてこ。客の顔の宣伝番組。This account's gotten too much random nonsense. I don't even know where to start with that. I walked right into that. God damn it. Yeah, that's like right at the health threshold that that would happen at. That's where, again, Matahari would be nice. That means I should not have cast.、Uh, Charlotte's first skill there. Although I did block that one attack, I guess. But I can always just heal right now, then it wouldn't matter. You know what? I shouldn't have removed his. I forgot that she had Pierce of Vulnerability for some reason.、Uh, I could have. Yeah, I could have waited. I could have let him do it again. Well. Oh well. Let's see. Do I use. David's evade now. Like, he always used the defense up when his NP comes up. Probably face tank it with most of them. Hmm. Now, wait. That's nice though. 100 faces overcharge is helping Charlotte out. That's nice. Now's a good time for this. I think he might be able to quick charge into his NP, but I don't quite remember. Okay, probably use the heal next turn. Decent synergy between 100 Face and Scarlet. Not the best I've ever seen. Like, double 100 Face is better, honestly, or like 100 Face Kuritsugu or Shiki or something, but it's still fine. They still benefit each other decently well. Or more of 100 phase just benefits Charlotte, not so much the other way around. Now, he may, if I like, hit him really hard, although I don't have an NP, he may do invulnerability again, but、um, he's, his first action has to be his NP, so he can't like, remove my buffs and an NP, so that's not a problem. Yeah, we'll make Soldier Age. That's definitely gonna happen. It's just, it's taking forever to get the D1 done. That sounds really weird out of context. Can I break here? If I can't, he'll probably cast Invulnerability. But I don't really have any buffs for him to remove, so I don't really care if he does that. <laughs> My nemesis, indeed. That was wild, dude. Baldy versus Shimosa? What? That sounds like something Cairo would do. Did you stop hitting 100 face so much? Hmm. That sucks. 100 face is gonna die pretty soon, I think. Getting pretty bad luck on her. I probably should have done Hans before David then.
Yeah, I mean, the George, the thing is, I'm not doing the George thing anymore. What's sad is I already edited it, but then they immediately buffed uh, Masashi and everything. So, and I, I, was, I, 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 if I, I can't really make that anymore, right? Like, I recorded it. I guess I could re-record it, though. But uh, I was so happy with the footage that I got. Like, I basically fought the boss once with every uh, unit, and just what they got is what they got. Like, no resetting for RNG and stuff. But uh, then they immediately, as soon as like I was done editing it, they buffed Masashi. So it's like, you know, it, I mean, I guess I could still put it up. But uh, it's like, I guess in Shimosa, she's not even supposed to ever in debuff yet. But I feel like I'm, it's, you know, people are going to give me shit. But yeah, that was pretty lame. I did all that, and then the uh, they buffed Masashi, so it kind of invalidated it. I don't know, I might still do it then, we'll see. I kind of need to remove his buffs because he's got so many buster ups. That sucks though because he's probably going to cast some vulnerability at some point, so... That's only... Oh, I didn't realize the cooldown was so short. Okay, never mind. That's fine. If Hunter Face can live one more turn, she'll be fine because then she can evade and then I can do the defense up and then I can heal and maybe she'll get her heal back. But yeah, it'd be nice if I had her heal leveled up more so it has a shorter cooldown, but uh, no luck on that one. Yeah, because the whole point was that we were using a really strong Masashi, but then like the RNG is just the RNG and they get what they get. Uh, but then but some people are like, oh, but you know, because uh, spoilers, Masashi lost. But uh, though she, I, 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 I know she can win. Like honestly, she wins or loses there is kind of RNG. But uh, if she had her MP buff, I don't think it'd be RNG. Got that NP gain down. Maybe I should. I, that was close. Thankfully, we got 100%. But I was thinking maybe I should have used my uh, NP gain up just to be safe there. Woo! Glad we had that defense up. Wow, we're barely needing our back row at all. We just had George die, who we wanted to die. That is such a shame. That is such a shame. That Charlotte's at 95%. That sucks. The good news is if he casts invulnerability, uh, she'll have her piercing invulnerability. Although we're gonna have buff removal, so it won't even matter. Just CS on it, right? Oh yeah, skill seal, right. Thanks, David. That's actually really good. He can't cast vulnerability. So no buff removal or anything. Well, Charlotte's not getting like, you know, amazing, oh my god, value, but she's doing just fine, right? You know, she's getting the job done. And yeah, she's Grail, but she's also a one star, so. It's definitely not as good as a, a second 100 phase, just because 100 phase, you know, these, their synergy off of each other is insanity because they're both doing art, resist down and everything. But still, she's doing just fine, and I actually like the fact that she has Pierce of Vulnerability. That's a really nice, like, uh, I mean, David died, but I guess that was kind of guaranteed there. But, uh. You know, there's, uh, there are definitely times where that Pierce of Vulnerability would come in handy in this fight, so... There's no point in removing his buffs in case we don't kill him here, so... Oh, 
Doing Hans is MP first, even though overcharging Hans is better, because I just hope the attack up hits. So, Charlotte hits harder. Yeah, there we go. You know, I should have used her Pearson Vulnerability just for the damage. Because if he casts it next turn, I can just eat, eat it anyway. Wow, that's pretty good damage then. Yeah, I figured. Then that low on health, that was pretty much guaranteed. Oh, I guess I didn't have it? He might live this turn, which that would actually kind of suck. Makasari. Yes. Makasari. Yes. Eh, we'll see. Go 60% crit. Okay, he's probably dead. Close, but yeah, he's dead. And we still had a backup Pearson vulnerability. He... That was pretty easy. Didn't even need mash. Poor mammoth, indeed. Doesn't even have the evil trait, man. But yeah, you could replace Charlotte on that team with just about any assassin and uh, you'll be alright. As long as you got some, some, a backbone on your team. No biggie. Fucking VR mash. Top tier DPS. Honestly, when she gets Black Barrel, she actually can do some pretty neat stuff on the DPS department, so. Hmm. We've already, we've, I've literally solo. I have a solo video of killing Ivan with Faust's uh, Charlotte, so. No, we won't do that. Let, let's just go. Let's have Grey solo. Let's see how she does. Because she's AoE, that'll make it harder. But I think she can handle it. I mean, Sanson can solo this for God's sakes. Although, honestly, it's kind of easy for Sanson because... Do people want Sanson? I guess this is his moment because it's not like you have a lot of opportunities to use him. I don't think we have a Curse Arm. People are always asking for Curse Arm, but nobody actually has him, so... It was bad. Ivan is evil, but not human. Alright, we'll do Sanson. I'll leave, let me give him command codes real quick, which are completely unnecessary. Like, he'll have no problem beating this without command codes. But we'll just do it to, you know, try to show him at his best. Not that it's, uh, it's, not, not, not that it's that high of a high, but, you know, you take what you can get. I think most assassins can solo this, honestly. Uh, Phantom probably can't, to be honest, but uh, I think a Grailed one probably can. I'm trying to think what I want to put on Sanson's cards here. I'll go with pretty standard stuff, nothing fancy. Can we, can we give Sanson good star gen? If I give him like all the command codes, that are star bomb. Will that actually? Because seriously, he makes like 20. If he does a quick chain, he normally makes 28 stars, which is just. And 10 of those are from the chain, right? Like it's really bad. So I'm kind of curious if I give him like every single star bomb uh, command code, if that'll be good enough. What's sad is such a large chunk of hit of the stars he'll make won't be from himself. It'll be from the chain, and then from the uh, the command codes. It could be like uh, nineteen or something from the command codes in the chain. All right. Give him the old tried and true, C E. 
Although Black Grail would probably be the best one, but uh... You know, fuck it. Let's go Black Grail. I don't know, it, it, maybe it is or isn't the best, but uh... Let's see that big MP damage. I mean, making his sword attacks not look like ass would be a pretty good way to make his animations better. Like, you don't have to do anything fancy, just, you know, make them not look like, ch you know, chunky old animations, which they do right now. I almost want to do this, in pure greed mode. You can remove your buffs though, and you might need to reapply them, so Atlas would be nice. Hmm. Default probably makes the most sense. Yeah, we'll do that. I mean, I don't think I don't like really like when they even do that though, because like that, like when you incorporate their NP into their normal attacks, it's like what? What's the point of their NP, right? He's not supposed to have a normal sword, it's supposed to be an executioner's sword, although they gave him an, an armor slayer for some reason, but they're not going to change that because they never change design when they do an animation update. I'm sure we would still win, but that's just so frustrating. Like, I'm so sure we still would've won, but I just like, that's stupid. Uh, give me one second, I'm gonna go get myself some lemonade, because I feel like it. Oh, I'm back. Tusk was, uh, roadblocking me. Alright, let's see here. This Sanson got some cards. I do find it funny that, like, Tusk is like that thing that my, everyone in my stream knows about, but he's never been on my stream. But one of these days I have a feeling he will be, but, you know, who knows. Hmm. <laughs> Man, they've had so many opportunities to give Sanson an animation update, and they just don't, so... I'm not sure we're ever gonna get one. Alright, I'm gonna be risking cast this now.
See if we get our NP here. Yeah, we should. Alright. Kinda wish we could have done a quick chain though. Damn. I've been throwing out some damage. Alright, boys. This is his moment. Let's see what we get. It's a shame that he's not human, but, uh, you know. The one time he does some okay dance. You know what's sad, though, is like... That's not, you know, it's good, but when you think about it, it's not that good. Because he, he's got a niche ability, right, that's helping his damage that you almost never get. But then he's also grailed and 2k foed, and he's got limit broken level 100 black grail, right? And then meanwhile, Bedivere can do like over, two, at level 70, Bedivere without all that, can do like over 200k, right? He, without Black Grail and stuff, just like vanilla, he can throw out like 200k pretty easily. So it's kind of rough, but you know, I'll take it. He killed him, you know, so still, still big damn. Taking kings and sars out, you know. We've killed, he's, we've killed pharaohs with them too, feels good. Now, if you could get his anti-human damage at the same time, then you you really would get good damage. Yeah, I know. Assassins have a bad damage mod, and Sanson has one of the lowest attack stats in the game, so... It's not a good combo! Like, what is this? The fuck is... I have no idea what this is. Um, it's probably just something right. Let, fuck it, let's go Luvia. Let's go. But, uh, Anastasia should be pretty tough for this account. There's a lot of, like, nuance in that fight that I don't really remember, because it's been a long time. Oh, yeah, Evil Cat. Damn it, I should have used Billy. This will be interesting though, Berserkers are a little tricky for rulers, so... Yeah, honestly, I don't know why they bothered with the attack modifiers either, because it... Like, it doesn't really make sense ultimately, and it, it's also really counterintuitive. I think it was just day one logic, and they didn't even think about it that much. It's also not fair. This is minor, but legitimately, like, assassins get less out of grails, right, because of it. And then, like, uh... Lancers, you know, and Avengers and that kind of thing, they get more out of grails. Although, I guess Avengers, because they counterclass so rarely, they don't... It's kind of hard to just... In, in a practical sense, they really don't, but, uh... <laughs> Because, like, the same amount of attack on one unit does not equal the same amount, right? Because of the damage mod. Because Lancers have got that extra damage mod, they get a little bit more out of the Grail stats. And then Assassins get a little bit less. And, like, the difference like the difference between a Saber and an Assassin, because uh, Sabers are, like, the standard, they're just, like, 1.0, right? Like, the difference between an Assassin and a Saber, it's not that big, you know? And then, like, on the flip side, the difference between a Saber and a Lancer is not that big. But then the difference between an Assassin and a Lancer is kind of big, right? Like, you start to really notice there, and especially if you got, like, you know, an Assassin or an Avenger or, you know, things like that. Well, like, the, I, the thing is, what the guy was saying earlier, and I agree with this, if you want, like, overall Assassins to generally do less damage and stuff, you just give them a lower attack stat. There's no point in making the damage mod different, right? Like, if you want to represent assassins not being as up upfront, you know, fighters, that's fine, but just make their attack stat... If you want their damage to be X, make their attack stat equal what X is. That's a much more reasonable way of doing it. Because that way, if you want to make abnormal units like Gramps, 
it's much it's much easier to do that, right? And I feel like, and I think I, people will agree with me on this. Everyone should get the same amount out of Grails, right? In terms of just numbers, like you know, obviously the way your skill set's going to synergize with those stats is going to vary, and that's fine. But like Grails should do the same thing for every single unit, right? But they it, it, they don't, and I I think that's dumb. And I don't think they even thought of that when they designed this, right? Because Day One Fgo had no idea what it was doing. Ninety-five percent, but we can uh, make up for that. Yeah, day one Fgo didn't even have Grails. Well, actually, they had Grails, but you couldn't use them. Like you, you acquired them, but you could not use them. So it's it's kind of obvious they knew they were going to make it a gameplay system, but they probably hadn't decided what it was going to do yet, to be honest. They uh, allowed you to actually use the Grails you obtained uh, around Camelot. I think it was like right before Camelot or the Camelot patch. Well, the thing is, when they made FGO originally, it wasn't supposed to last this long. It wasn't supposed to be this big of a deal. They said that. Like, they just said that, you know, when they were making the game, they, they didn't think it was going to be this popular. They didn't think it was going to last this long. You know, it really was just a quick cash grab. So, it, you know, it wasn't really in a good state because it's kind of just this thing they threw together. And then, you know, people ended up, you know, really like fate, come to find out. So, uh, you know, and then that was like, right, that was like the real peak popularity of fate, you know, like that was like fate zero and really put it on the map and then the limited blade works anime. So, uh, you know, it was kind of wild. But yeah, no, I agree. I'm not justifying it. I'm not justifying it. I'm, I'm more explaining what happened, right? Like, it's, it was kind of a typical, because for real, DW was not like some big established company. They were like a small indie dev that really had no experience and didn't know what they were doing. And Aniplex hired them because they were cheap, right? And it was, it was just a quick cash grab shovelware, right? Like, that's what the game was supposed to be. Uh, now, obviously, I'm not defending that. I think that's, you know, dumb, but, you know, that's, it is what it is. Okay, let's see here. She's going to MP seal us, which actually really sucks because our whole shtick is looping. I kind of feel like, my god, why did he give her a star bomb skill? Every time I play here, I'm just like, you know, once she gets the ball rolling, it's, you know, it's really good, but then you're like, oh, but it's hard to just kind of get the ball rolling. It's not because you get star bomb. Like, why did he do that? I mean, it's, you know, it makes her gameplay really smooth, but it's like, Jesus Christ, this is not balanced. I should've brought Atlas, though, so I could, uh, get rid of this, uh, NPC. We might guard it, we have really high debuff resistance. Because once she can get, once she can guarantee crit, her crits will make a lot of stars, right? And then her NP, you know, the way it works, you get more stars and everything, so... Like, the first turn is the only turn where it's like sketch, and then every turn from this point on is we have loads of fucking stars, and then I, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure Zoff puts star absorb on her arc card, so... We don't, we, don't, we don't need, like, as many stars as you might normally need. Well, will our ruler magic resist and all that save us from the NP seal? Nope! It didn't block either of them! Hold on, what is her, what, what does she got? Does she have goddess essence or anything? Let's see what's uh, going on here. Like, some of the rulers have such insane uh, debuff resist, but... Uh... So she has Goddess Essence, but she doesn't have Magic Resist, so she just has a 22.5% chance to resist debuff. So that's not nearly as good as some of the other units out there. Well, yep, I could literally NP and kill her right now, but unfortunately I, uh, am NP sealed, so... Probably should have killed one of the adds, because this probably is not going to kill her, and, uh... Um... I don't know, it's pretty close. Jesus! Thankfully we got that defense up so that crit didn't end our existence. 
That messed up our loops, though. Like, there goes our, uh, Starjin. I could actually, like, Buster the middle one, then NP the side one, and then normal extra the last one, but this should be fine. I'll get a lot of NP gain here. I mean, I wouldn't care if I gave, uh, gave her an extra Berserker attack. That doesn't matter at all. Dude, freaking uh, Quetz has such ridiculous magic resist. It's a shame that we really couldn't show off the loops, but if you feel you like that. One reason it's so easy for her to loop is because her NP makes stars. Like, it's, it's its effect is it makes a bunch of stars. I think it makes 20. Um, yeah, it's like no matter what, it makes 20 stars. And then between that and her high hit counts, she just makes a lot of stars. And then what you do is, I'll say this, if you had no command codes at all, it would be a little wonky to loop with her, but command codes make it really easy because you just put star absorb on her art cards. Uh, and between that and then her, you know, star bomb and everything, you, it's really easy to get a lot of uh, NPs off. Like, very, very, very easy. And you're critting while you're doing it, and you got the attack up and the art up and, you know, all that nonsense, so. Oh, yeah, I should use her third skill. Even though it does drain your stars by five, it gives you a fucking 50% uh, crit up. And a battery. That's what she needed. It was a battery. She is disgusting, man. I actually wonder if she could solo this stage, because, you know, like, Kentoki can solo it, right? But he's a writer. I, 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 would be, I, want, I wonder if she could solo this. She probably can. I kind of want to try that and then just reset. Because uh, I kind of want to fight this boss, you know, without doing that as well. But uh, I am kind of curious. Let's see. I remember you want to bring someone that has... Um, an AoE buff like Bedivere just to like die because they do that buff block thing. I think it's one effect only. Although I honestly Luvia could probably just use her third skill right away. If it lets you use it if you don't have the stars. No, you can't. Now this is where a taunt CE is amazing, but uh, we don't have fuck Bedivere's leveled. Uh, does he have, I think his first skill's Charisma? Let me look, I don't remember. You know, Alex works. He has first skill's Charisma though, so he'll, he'll be fine. I don't think I have a Taunt CE on this account though, because Taunt CEs are rare as fuck. I, don't, I wonder if it's not worth it then. It's not that big of a deal to get rid of the buff block. Well, it kind of is, because it lets you Taunt on George. Well, we're gonna have some RNG here then. Let's see, I, if I remember correctly, when you break this boss's first health bar, she gets full NP gain. How the hell do you say this name? Akuid? Akud? Something? Thank you for the Twitch Prime, man. Sorry for butchering your name, but you know, it comes with the territory. Um. Let's see, you break her first health bar, uh, you get. She gets NP charge, I think. I know she gets guts at the end that brings her back to like a full of health. I think he removes her debuffs. Oh, she stuns on, on like turn two or something too. Tsukihime <laughs> Avena, right? <laughs> Yeah, see, normally you couldn't taunt with George, but you can clear the buff block with the charisma there. Do not care for this opening hand, but uh... Apparently she starts with uh... Invulnerability, a lot, a lot of gimmicks here. There's the stun, I think. 
It's, oh, when she attacks, she stuns. That's what it is. It's, it's kind of wasted because George, but you know. Rare caster that gets three actions per turn. Well, now we have to hope she just happens to kill uh, Alex. As he eats my cards. Where we're gonna struggle here is dealing with our second NP. That's gonna be a problem. Could you attack the little one? Okay. That's probably GG right there. It's gonna put us really far behind. Martha's really good in this fight. Actually, I think Martha can solo this. I want to say next from our chat did that. I believe we could go for this. I should have used her third skill, honestly. That was a good turn for it. Really? Good god. We're kind of- we're just- we're way too behind here, like... I took so many turns to get anywhere. Oh, was it you, Zaw? Excuse- I- I- I might have been both of you, to be honest. Let, let me look. Let me check YouTube. Yeah, Next, next has a video for it from our, our chat. I thought he did. Yeah, well, uh, Ryder Martha. She's really good here, though, because turn one, she can just clear the debuffs. Just boom. Just like that, right? And you, know, you don't even have to worry about it. All right, let's do let's do something normal though. Let's have a. What do I want to summon? I don't want to summon anything that's gonna be like LOL. It's a joke battle, right? But um, let me think. I want to say you can use Clown Boy to stop her guts. I can't remember, but I I remember Clown Boy can do some nonsense here. Yeah, Martha Martha's strong, man. Blackbeard. I, I could summon Blackbeard. He's not that bad here. He's AoE and all that, but he's still okay. Hmm. So, what I can summon from my main account is Ozzy, uh, Ryder Kentoki, Santa Alter, Martha, Antoinette, Medusa, Ricky Boy. I actually really like the idea of using Ricky Boy. Red Hair, Columbus, Alex, Ushi, Bodica, Blackbeard, George, Blackbart. My Aussie's 1-1-1, one, 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 though. Aussie is really strong here, though. I like Ricky, because Ricky's good, but he's not as good as Ushi for this kind of fight, especially on a budget team. But he's still good, and everyone likes Ricky. Like, can you- could you trust someone that- uh, if, let's say you meet someone on, like, Discord or something, right? And they're like, you know what? I don't like Ricky Boy at all. I- uh, I don't like the cut of his chip, right? I-, I could you really- could you really trust that person, right? Like that 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 judgment is questionable. I don't think I have Ivan on any account. No, which sucks cuz I actually really like Ivan. I think I threw tickets at him back in the day, but I just I've never gotten him. But I've never like thrown SQ at him really, so. Yeah, actually legitimately I have not met someone that dislikes Ricky Boy. Uh, I'm sure they exist though, but uh, I have not met one yet. I may want to do that. Uh, hold on, I need to run to the restroom and I'm gonna get water and all that kind of stuff. So give me one second. I'll leave y'all with the music though. It's very dramatic.
All right, I'm back. So chat, right now, this account, it, you know, we call the newbie account, which I think fair enough, because I mean, look, look, look at this. It has nothing leveled, right? We don't, we don't, we have two rows of leveled servants, right? That's really bad. But uh, I'm not gonna do this until Hercules is 10, 10, 10, and uh, Bond 10, right? But then I think we, we, once that happens, it's gonna be the Herc account, right? Right, and then it, we're gonna use it so much, right? But it's, it's not not until he's 10, 10, 10, Bond 10, right? But then, yeah, it's gonna be the Herc account. All right, let's see. Actually, we really should use Herc because, you know, kind of good. Let's see, she's AoE in P. Um... I can't remember, I, I know at certain points she is scripted to do Pierce Vulnerability before her NP, but there's actually ways to get her to not do that. Uh, which I don't entirely remember because I haven't done this in too long. Yeah, I mean, obviously skill seal, but you know, and you got clown boy for buff block, and then also I think it's like it, there's a I know there's a like certain timings where she can't do it, uh, like based on like what the master does and stuff. I mean, I've done like one event on this account ever, but like this account's not even old enough to have actually had that many events available anyway, so. I really should have leveled Matahari on this account, though. This is like the third or fourth boss where Matahari can be really helpful, even though it's a caster. Because, uh, you know, Gwadia is a big one. Well, we'll just have to... On this, I think what the 1 to 3 star account did is we just let her wipe everything with the NP. I think I remember that. Like, we set it up so the front row all died to her NP, and then the back row then was able to do the next thing. It was like, okay, we have basically Team A and Team B, and you let all Team A die at one go, and then you have Team B finish up. We're gonna have to do something like that, I think. Um, let's see. So you need it to be stable enough that no one dies until she NPs, basically. But then you need to actually do enough damage to do that. You know what's stupid is this might work. Like, literally no, no back row except for Herc. Like, something along these lines. Th th this would, this, I feel like this would probably work right here. But, uh, I, I let's not do that. Especially if Herc was, uh, 10-10-10 and, and, uh, Bond 10 and all that. I think he's, I think he's still Bond 8, but he's, like, super close to Bond 9, I think is what he's at. Hmm. George might be too slow for this. Although, if he does get his NP, it's okay. I know, the UI improve- you, you need to put quotations around those UI improvements, really, because... It's- it's bullshit. What are you gonna do? What's her debuff resist? She has... 10% debuff resist, which is not particularly good. Is that? Hmm. I know, dude. That that that. I was just talking yesterday about like how messed up DW is with this kind of thing, and then they announced the stupidest thing, like. God, dude. Saddening. I'm not too confident in this setup. I mean, to make some changes. Some issues here.
Like I've said this before, but like all they do is things that are like they're, they they feel like there's nothing else they can do, right? And so they would they're. It's like, for God's sakes, there's so many obvious things that this game needs. Like, the command code UI is unbearably bad. That lately needs to be changed. You know, you should be able to not bring a support, stuff like that. You just have, like, a skip button on the support screen. There's just, like, so many things like that. But, you know, they just, they just don't. I think what it is, is if you time it so her first NP is, like, she's got her NP and then you break her health bar, she won't pierce some vulnerability. I, I, something like that. I, I know there's a way to do that. And actually, if that's the case, I should not have used David's uh, second skill right there, but uh, we shall see. Crescendo! <laughs> Oh yeah, there's all kinds of resolution problems too in Evco. Her first action is pierce vulnerability, feels bad. Maybe I do bring George then. George cuts down a lot of bullshit here. Nice crit, champ! Oh my god. Wait, she hits- Oh, it's for three attacks. God damn it. That's so bad. Because I need to NP this turn. So this last turn I got the attack buff. That sucks so bad. Yep, I should bring George on the front row then. He'll, uh, help quite a bit. Yeah, you could probably even set it where George lives until the NP too, if he's tanky enough for that. Let's see if we break if that stops the Pierce of Honorability gimmick. I know, I know there's a way without having buff block or any of that nonsense to do it. I just don't remember exactly. It's been a while. Should break here. I mean, they, honestly, the unregistered spirit origin system is just trash, and they need a, a proper safety net system where just you summon this many times and you get the thing. Like. Yep, that one she just goes straight into NP. That means we should not use David's second skill like that, or unless you're wanting to intentionally wipe your team. Which sometimes is actually a legit good thing, but yeah, you, you can, uh... That's pretty handy, because it buys you a lot of time. Loops, by the way. Could have been like another buffer then if I'd wanted it to be. Okay, David had the defense up and uh, it was good enough. I mean, the unregistered spirit origin is just a terrible safety net system. Even if you lower the number you needed, it wouldn't work. Like, it wouldn't even come close to working. Like, most people, even if they've saved up like a thousand SQ, and they're trying to get a rate up, they won't get a single unregistered spirit origin. That's not a safety net. Like, that's it's nothing.
I should save George's NP for when uh, Ricky Boy gets a art card to try to art chain. Like a safety net needs to be like, you know, you summon X number of times, you get the rate up period, right? Normally it's like, you know, 100 times, 120 times, or, you know, whatever ever they want it to be, but... The fact they don't have a system like that is just insanity. Especially when every other game has one now. And it's both profitable and good to the player base, right? So it's like, it's a, it's a really good system to have. Okay, here we go. Funnily enough, I didn't need to save George's NP because, um... We would have been able to arch chain anyway, but it's good to make sure. You could actually use Ricky as the only DPS here if you set it up right. I, I've never gotten an unregistered spirit origin. And like, you know, I've rolled a lot over the years. A dragon, by the way. Now see, this one, this NP is probably going to have the uh, piercing on ability on it. I'll do this anyway, just in case it doesn't, but I'm almost positive it will. Um, this is where I wish I had Ricky Boy's first skill though, because defense up would actually uh, keep Ricky alive here. He might live still anyway, but I, I'm not so sure. Oh, you're right! Skill seal on David! I, I, I calculated. I totally was not even thinking about that, but you're right. And she has... Okay. She has a 10% chance. Oh, wait, hold on. You know what I'm gonna do? Chat, I don't normally do this, but I, I'm, I'm gonna do this just to show this off. So, and honestly, it's obvious we'll still win. We have Ushi and Herc in the back. We'll, we'll, we'll still win. But the, you would almost never want to do this. This is something that almost is never relevant. But if you really care about getting skill seal, you can overcharge David and he gets a higher, he goes over 100%. And so he can get past, um, he can get past uh, debuff resistance. Yeah, I normally don't save scum like this, but I want to show that just because it's awesome. And it, but it, it it does not matter. Like she, she, we absolutely would be able to kill her anyway with the... Uh, with uh, Ushi and, and Herc, but uh, this is just so cool and I gotta show this off because that's awesome that you can do that. Also, that's bullshit. Like, that was legitimately bullshit because she had a 10% chance. What I want to know is, let me look, I don't know how high David's overcharge goes. And we're totally cheating right now. So it's based, wow, it's based on his 100% and if you overcharge it once, it goes to 125%. That is nuts. That is so nuts. That's really worth noting though, so if anyone's like, you know, going to do this boss later, like, that's really useful, because David can not only save you from... ...the, uh, the NP with his evade, but, you know, he'll make it so she doesn't appear some ability. So yeah, first NP, if you make it so you get it off the break bar, won't have pierce some ability, and if you can somehow skill seal her, you can keep her from doing it. This is from Carnival, Carnival Fantasy. We just cheated like a motherfucker, but that's just that's too awesome not to not to do. I was saying before he clears her uh, debuffs, but now with uh, just the guts. Damn, David died anyway, though. <laughs> that's, uh, that kind of sucks. Let's see. I mean, David was still good there, but yeah, that kind of soured it a bit. Okay. 
Well, if Ricky Boy can live to do his NP, which he has a chance of doing because he gets the defense up now, although he still has the defense down. But if Ricky can NP, we can do, we can get a value uh, suicide skill off for once. I can art chain, but I really want to get Ushi that NP game too. I uh, should be safe. That sucks though. I really want to get Ushi's NP. And she's so close. It's gonna be so unfortunate if he dies here. That's not a good start. I actually kind of want to not have George taunt because I want Ushi to get attacked. Well, I can get her NP actually, regardless, so it's fine. But I don't really want George to die because he has his NP too. Well, time for Ricky to take one for the team, but he's gonna do so much damage here. He should win next turn. Can we get some salutes for Ricky? As he just like wrecks the boss's health bar there. Alright, can Ushi clean up at the end here? Will Herc do literally anything? I kind of want to do George's first just to give the art bonus to Herc, but it's not going to matter. I'm uh, doing George's second means bigger defense buff. Although, actually, I guess I want her, uh, George to die now, so actually having George uh, have a higher defense buff is bad. The sooner you get down to less cards, the easier it is for Ushi and Herc to do things. I don't think Herc's going to really do anything at this point. I think she's either going to die here or be so low that it won't matter. Okay, she's just dead. Herc did nothing. He he looked he looked pretty though, you know. Emotional support, you know, that kind of thing. George solo, yeah. George actually I gotta say, George got pretty good value there. And uh he had a mass amount of defensive at the end there, so he could have lived a bit longer. Although that again that's kind of a bad thing, but uh And he np twice, he lowered the damage of the enemy quite a bit, so it was pretty good. What the, I can't remember what this tree does. I know it's a writer, but I don't really remember what it does. Also, Hundred Face can solo this, by the way, but uh, we won't do that. I think it has to be a Grail Hundred Face, though. I don't. I don't think you could. Well, I don't remember. Maybe you can do it with the seventy-one. I'm not sure. But uh, a, a Grailed one can definitely solo this. But uh, let's let's not use one of those. This is not the right tree, Chad. You don't understand. It doesn't work that way. It's it's a very specific tree. Gray. Gray is pretty bad here, though, I think. Oh, I don't remember the boss gimmicks, but for being AoE, I think it would be good. I think you need a Doesn't the boss have, like... I think it has, like, Buster and Quick Resist, and then, but it loses its Buster Resist at, like, the last health bar or something. That's, like, vaguely what I, I think it does. And that would, uh, make Gray awful, because she's Buster Quick. I think that's what she does. I would use... Everyone's always asking for a Grailed Curse Arm, and I would use it, but no one has one. So it's like, uh, you know, if someone in chat's like, hey, I have a grilled cursor, and then yeah, I'll do it, but we, we don't have one, so. Now that's interesting. She's also AoE and whatnot, but that, that's, that's, that, I kind of want to do that just because that's really different. Like, obviously this is not the most applicable time for her, but that kind of makes it more interesting. Fuck it, let's do it. I think Cleopatra's like godly here because of her buff block when she gets buffed. How do we want- wait, she's Buster though! Oh god, this is gonna be terrible. I think she's gonna do like nothing. 
Because yeah, I, I'm pretty sure Buster does really. They're 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 fine like once you get to the later health bars, but at the beginning they're so shit. Maybe we do this instead. But then like, that 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 that's not particularly good either. Yeah, but you're not breaking health bars with normal cards here. Hey, Ari. Ari, thankfully you didn't have to watch Anastasia getting punched in the face. You uh, you just missed that part. Although it was by Ricky Boy, so that's not so bad. Shield your eyes. All right. Um. Hmm. Well, I literally don't remember what this boss does, so we're kind of just going to wing it a bit. This is where I wish I had regular mash. I need another art DPS. <laughs> like, I might do that just because uh, I don't know what else the hell I would do here. Hmm. You know what I'm gonna do real quick? Hold on. This is sad, but because this CE is not that good, but this account needs CEs like it, so. Let's see, I got two CE drops. So I don't have to buy one of these. It's such a not a good CE, but I, uh, I honestly, he might be better. He might seriously be better off with like the uh, Sakura one. Like this thing is that black. Oh, that split stats too, actually. So. Wait, this account. I thought this account got two CE drops. Maybe I'm, maybe it didn't. I swear it did though. It did. Why? Uh, why am I missing one then? Because you only need one drop, and if I got two, I shouldn't need to buy as much stuff. Oh, I I, I get it. I, I'm confused because one already is unlocked, that's why. i make sure I'm on the right CE though, I don't have any mishaps here. Excuse me chat, I'm a boomer, it's fine. Okay, let's see. It's so sad that I'm going to actually use that CE though, because it's not good. But, I mean, what else am I going to use for starting NP? I mean, just, you know... I mean, just... The thing is on this setup, because we're not going to really be critting, I guess I could just use Leyline, really. It is kind of funny, because, yeah, I do legitimately make my living off of playing FGO, basically. As dumb as that is. I have no idea if this boss has debuffs or not. Well, we'll find out. Yeah, I don't know why, but this boss is unbelievably unmemorable to me, so I just don't really remember its gimmicks at all. The only tree that is, like, super memorable to me is, uh... I guess four. You know, I know that one's abilities really well.
I have no idea what the second tree does. Like, I at least remember this thing gets a, like, bust to resist, and then it loses it at the end. I, I, I do remember that. And I remember that because I know Gramps can actually work here because it loses the bust to resist eventually. But other than that, I don't remember it at all. Yeah, it has defense up permanently and a buster resist. So yeah, that makes buster assassin shit. But then on the last health bar, I'm pretty sure it loses. That means Shiki is amazing here. Because she's art and ha I got the giant defense down and armor ignore. Oh my god, I, I need to do a Shiki setup here if this fails. That would be awesome. How fast can we get our NPs here? Double Shiki? Yeah, I'd imagine that works pretty well. Shiki could probably solo this. I know 100 Face can solo this, so I, I feel like Shiki probably can too. Because her. It's so, like, in Shiki's department with the armor ignore and everything. I actually super enjoyed doing the Guda, Guda final with uh, Shiki. That was a lot of fun. Hmm. I almost want to not use 100 faces in P here. I think we do 100 faces in Robins and not David's. A Grail Cheeky Can? I don't know about an 81. Maybe with the right CE. And command codes and stuff, I would think so. Oh no, we definitely need our NPs, right? Because it's got the defense up. What am I thinking? Yeah, probably should have done David's then too. Probably could have broken there. I kind of forgot about uh, the defense up. Yep, should have done David's. Out too late now. Although actually, I might have to do it now because David's gonna die soon. Definitely dying faster than I thought. Yeah, if I'm gonna end with David now, I should have done it last turn because he would have gotten the overcharge for Robin. So. Oh well. Yeah, David's not gonna do that good here, but the thing is he would do good with with um with uh What's the name? Uh Robin because of the overcharge thing, so That still wasn't bad though, I still almost broke, so it wasn't too bad. But yeah, we could have we could have broken by now. This is way too soon for Semiramis. Definitely want her way later. She's also awful here, but, uh, you know. Any world where Robin can NP again, if he doesn't die this turn. Uh, it's not looking that good. Like, if he crit and he lives this turn, maybe. You'd have to crit though, and even then, I don't think it's worth it. There's no point using 100 faces though. We don't need damage this turn, we're gonna break anyway. But nah, I should make sure Semiramis gets it. Uh -huh. And he crit! Oh my god, oh my god, I should have just done- I should have done one of her cards and two of Robin's. Because if he lives here, he would have gotten his NP. Yep, Shiki's amazing here, by the way. Yep, we could have gotten Robin's NP. That's a feels bad, man. I think you need 10 stars. Nope. I guess it's just, if you have 10 stars, it takes them.
How good is Simi Ramos overall in challenge quests? Yeah, whatever you said, decent. Like, this, this is obviously not the time you would use her because this is a single target situation and anti-Buster and she's AOE and Buster, right? So this is obviously not the time for her. But she's still pretty solid. For AOE challenge quests, if it calls for an assassin, she does pretty well. You know, a little bit of team support, can loop pretty easily, you know, helps her teammates with the... Uh, the Buster resist down and giving them defense up and that kind of thing. So she's solid. She's not one of those like, oh my god, this unit is so good. But if you're like, oh man, I really like Semiramis. I want to try to, you know, make her work in challenge quests and stuff. You absolutely can. You know, she's got good stats because she's a five star, all that kind of stuff. And there's plenty of positives there. And honestly, I think she's pretty nice in AoE challenge quests because she has that, um, the class thing. Right? Because so let's, let's say the enemy is a caster a rider and a berserker, right? You do the anti thing to not worry about the caster and now you're basically countering everything, right? That's really nice, right? I wish Robin had lived one more turn so Chin Gong wasn't gonna get blasted in the face here. As if he could live to give Simiramis the buster up, that would be swell. Do I give Chin Gong the evade? We've got triple defense up on the assassins and they're counterclassing, but 100 face is pretty low in health. Hmm. Yeah, her damage against casters is still bad, but she won't get like wrecked by them, but she'll fuck up the other two. But yeah, she doesn't get bonus damage against casters, but she doesn't get, you know, eaten alive by them. Oh, does she do neutral damage to them? That's pretty nice. She does do neutral damage with the- uh, Okay, I didn't know that. I thought- I thought she did a half still, but she didn't take bonus damage. But that's- that's- Yeah, for- and because an AoE challenge quest, enemies have less health. That- that is pretty nice. Okay, um... How- let me think, how- I guess we do want Chen Gong to live. Because this is a horrible time for Hercules to show up. Hmm. Why am I doing? I should have taunted himself. He has evade. I mean, obviously she's really tanky here, but still. Caster uh, Nero is just really good in general. Like, she just has so much damage up and and, and whatnot, and then she gets rid pretty quick. Like, uh, Caster Nero is one of the better casters in the game for sure. Oh, he has Pierce of ability. What a dick. Okay, well I just wasted my evade. Feels good. Wow, if you kill 100 face here, I'm gonna be so pissed. Okay. Well, we now know what this boss's gimmicks are, guys. Got him. Fuck, 100 face. Dude, if I saved the evade, I could give my evade to 100 face this turn. She would live, and then we'd break the health bar, and the next turn 100 face would NP, and she'd have her evade again. Oh my god, I'm throwing. That would have been so fucking good if I evaded 100 face right now because then she gets to double evade and we get another MP off on the last health bar like oh my god I mean CSing wouldn't even matter well at least if you healed her I guess that would matter but uh, uh. god that sucks yes, yes, yes. Sorry, you. Look at the it's such a good shade of green. By the way, that is legitimately my my favorite thing about Semiramis is the green in her like poison cup and then the green in the dragon's flame. That's just shit's awesome. Dude, we just lost so much value on 100 face. Like that's that's depressing. Like we just lost so much value there. Like that that is brutal.
So this is such a bad time for Semiramis, but she's still doing okay to be honest. It's not like she's doing terrible. I mean, she's certainly not caring, but not embarrassing herself. Although another reason why you <laughs> Semiramis is bad here is this boss has armor uh, ignore, and she has a lot of armor up, so that could be better. We're probably still gonna win. Do I heal Semiramis? Yeah. If she gets another NP, it's pretty great. This was such a bad team. No, stop casting buffs and attack. I see the NP game. There we go. Jesus. You're scaring me. Thankfully, Herc had guts, so it didn't really matter that much, but, uh... Wait, actually, I think we hurt NP with Herc first, because he's just NP1. He doesn't do jack shit, and he'll do defense down. We'll probably kill, though. Herc really didn't do so hot here. Like, I mean, for God's sakes, like, a lot of units could do, like, the kind of damage and survivability he's doing here because he's just in P1, but I'm doing that bad. Defense down is nice. Yeah, NP1 Herc, uh, <laughs> that's not that great. Well, we didn't kill, but we should be fine anyway. Um, it really doesn't like Semiramis. That was kind of bullshit. I mean, thankfully, her. I guess Herc is doing something. Honestly, what Herc is doing, like we could have done with Ushi or or Ku, for God's sakes. But uh, wow, that uh, that tree was being an asshole there. Well, it gets the it, it gets the chop chop anyway. Rip Semiramis. Rex, you missed everyone thinking we should use Iris Veal because they don't get the meme. Lumberjack Herc, indeed. Alright, well that's Lost Bolt 1. It was rather easy. Much easier than Shimosa, which I knew it would be. Another obvious proof, though, that Shimosa is harder than this if you're on like a newer account. Because like that, I mean, every I've done Lost Belt one several times on new accounts, and this is easy. It's like, and any of you did struggle? Because I'm not, I didn't summon a single thing that was like a carry, right? Like I could have summoned, you know, all, all, all number of you know fucking single target assassins there that would have been way better, would have been super easy. But like you can't do anything like that in Shimosa. See ya, King. Yeah, you really can't put enough quotations around uh, Norse there, but you know. More grails for the grail god, though. It's not just Valkyrie, it's like it is supposed to be a Norse Lost Belt. That's why Surtur is there and Skadi is there, like in all that stuff. It's just, uh, they did such a bad job with it, no one really realizes it. Now Russia is one, which is literally what we just did.
I mean, it was the Norse Lost Belt, it's just, uh, they did a really shitty job with it. Lost Belt 2 is a bit harder than Lost Belt 1. Um, also, the final fight with Valkyrie and all that is actually a bit chuff, but it shouldn't be too bad. Like, we can definitely beat it. It's not that big of a deal. But it might have a few fights where we have to, you know, take a second. Let me think. Oh god, that means we're getting close to Lost Belt 3, though. It's literally the next one. Thankfully, though, I don't have to handicap myself, so I can do literally what I need to do to get through the bosses. The problem is, this account is... Got... Oh god, it just... It's so much less prepared than the one who 3-star account is. The 3-star account is obviously handicapped like a motherfucker, but, uh... I mean, good god, like, look at this. Like, this is our servants. Like, that's it. <laughs> like, it's two rows in a rush. Like, that. that's it. Like... We have no utility or options there. I probably will slow down though after Lost Belt 2. Not because I need to, but because I don't- There's certain things that I don't want to do until our Hercules is ready because I want to show off just how much of a carry Hercules can be. Like that's kind of the point, right? Uh, so I don't want to like get past a bunch of cool shit and not have my Hercules ready, especially because He's, by the time we're done with this, you know, he's gonna be, you know, Bond 9 in a chunk. So I feel like that's a good time to take a break, maybe farm some, whatever, and just get him to Bond 10 and then go back at it, just because, you know, we kind of want this to be the Hercules account. Um, what do I need for his skill ranks? Let me look this up. Because I, I need to get him 10-10-10. Like, you, you can't be the theme of the account and not, not get the man 10-10-10. Oh god, he uses a bunch of mats that I just used. God damn it. Whoops! He needs so many hero proofs. He needs 60 hero proofs per skill. That's that's great. It's almost like he's a famous hero or something. Oh god. Thankfully we haven't used that many hero proofs, but we're, we're gonna need a lot. We're, I'm gonna have to start farming the fucking boat or some crap. Well, I'll probably try to remember to do when like nothing's happening and I'm not gonna, you know, do the main story on this account. I need to just do like that America stage or the, the pirate ship. I need to just do that on autopilot. So I get a bond, and then so I get some hero proofs and void dust and that kind of thing. Because although I'm not out of void dust yet, you, you might as well start building up on it. I mean, it depends on what game it is, but a lot- it, 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 yeah, gosh, games- Oh my god, Epic 7, dude. Every time I stream Epic 7, I just want to stop streaming. Um, okay, a bunch of Berserkers. You know what? Let's, uh, let's get some Karna in here. These are filler stages, so it's fine. I gotta level up my 2030. I keep forgetting this account has that. It's so silly. I guess George Bond is good. He's like Bond 9 right now, so... I know, 17,000. It's pretty awesome. Alright, let's bust him up. Man, that, I, I wish I had my MP though right now. I can't quite get it because uh, we have Buster Buster. Hmm. I should have brought Anniversary Blonde. Why did I not bring Anniversary Blonde? 
I, oh my god, what am I doing? I should have brought Anniversary Blonde because I've got Hans's crit up, Karna's crit up, and then the bus are up. Like, come on, like, what are we doing here? By the way, Karna's voice actor is, uh, pretty great. That is the coolest fucking buster attack ever, I swear to god. I should have taunted Karna, I think he, can, he would have been able to survive and then I would have gotten NP gain. Actually, I tell you what, the boss is never gonna get his NP. The next turn we'll have, like, his art card and that's it. Which is unfortunate, but you gotta go with what you got. Alright, Hans, land the attack buff, let's go. This is the one that matters. This is why we brought you, for God's sakes. Yeah, there we go. Honestly, we didn't even need the evade triple defense up would've been fine. Actually, it's double defense up and damage cut, but you know. Not that many stars this turn. This is why Anniversary Blonde would've been nice, but, uh... Shame this giant's not uh, divine, but you know. Suria, go show on that. Mohaya sent to only Kasakunas. Jesus, that's pretty damn good damage, even though we, you know, weren't really setting that up as well as we could have. Like, goddamn, dude. Feels good, man. Think you got him? <laughs> yeah, I think we got him. Jesus, look at that damage. See, that, that's, that's, it's so nice because, like, that's why you Grail Karna, right? It's because, you know, Karna lore-wise is supposed to just be so devastatingly strong, right? And you want to be able to use his AoE and P, even in single-target situations, right? Like, that's why I Grail Gil, right? Same thing. And so, uh, you know, that, that, Karna, you can definitely do the same thing with. If you go, you really try to make Karna the guy, you know, you, it, it feels pretty good. You know, get Kai and P rank, get the, you know, Grails, 2k foe, all that, and you start blowing shit up, it's great. Let's see, who would want to do on this one? That's a nice Amakusa, though. That'd be kind of interesting. Amakusa versus some Berserkers here. Why not? We'll make it work. Saintly damage, you know. Monozuki Domome, Jingo Kue Ochiro. All right, let's see. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure it's just trash and then giants or something. Where did my water go? Oh, there it is. Excuse me. All right. Um. Hmm. We have no damage on this turn, like at all. Merry but doendo, Donna. Izo onjo naku. Look at us quick chaining. I wonder how Amakusa and Shingong would get along. I like how we didn't have taunt, but it felt like we did there. 
Okay, there's some damage. That's better. I can make so many stars if I use Hans' skill and Amakusa's, but this it's not it's not time yet. We gotta give it a second here. Damn. Hans fucking it up. We could have killed that one if Hans had crit. Okay, now is the time to make the stars, assuming we can kill it this turn. Which I think we can. Okay, don't. Don't, don't family boys. Like, you, 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 got, you got this, right? Woo! Little word there. Not a servant, unfortunately. We still get the buster up. We don't they, they have no buffs for us to yeet, by the way. Feels bad. You know, I don't have that much faith in Hans right now, so we're just gonna do the chain. Alright, let's see what we get. So many memes. That's not bad. For somebody that's, you know, a ruler and then you're getting the buff removal. Not bad at all. Woo! And I could have given him the MP gain from Hans if I wanted to, and he would have gotten more refund there. He landed the quick up. Would have been better if he did the buster up there. His animations are fine though. Like, yeah, he's not the best looking unit in the game, but oh my god, his animations. Like, I don't wanna, I've seen so many people complain about his animations, and I'm like, yeah, sure, they're not like, you know, Gilgamesh to your animations, but like, they're fine. Like, he looks completely fine. Like, he's so much better. Like, Go look at like Mozart and all, you know all that shit like that that stuff is so much worse Like there's nothing there's nothing bad about his animations. They're just like, you know, they're, they could be better sure So like yeah, if he gets an animation update great, but he's not even close to You know like look at Sanson and, and Ushi and and you know those kind of Darius, you know, like they're just so much worse What a caster coup god I like how we're fighting question marks, so I have no idea what we should do here. I think this is Ziggard. Just because I know you fight him somewhat early, and that's just like the only thing I can think of that they would do this with. I really should be bringing Herc though. Actually, this count does have Siegfried, that's right. I forgot that we had him, but he's level, you know, one, so... We got spooked by him really recently. Man, I might level him instead of Bedivere. I'm not sure. I mean, Bedivere is so useful, though. And Bedivere is a good boy, too, so I don't know. I forgot that we got spooked by Siegfried, dude. He's, you know, good and awesome, so... But this account needs units with battery, like Bedivere, so I probably should level Bedivere first. Yeah, 
I think this one you have to live until he gets his MP or a set amount of turns or something. Or until you break his first health bar. I know if you break his first health bar, it instantly ends. So you, and you could do that in one turn if you really try. But uh, it's going to be hard for our boy here. 600k at neutral is uh, no joke. And we're on a time limit. Ninety-eight percent. Okay. I've been here before. I really like his stage one in general, but I especially like it in this lost ball because it's all snowy. So it's like, you gotta have the scarf, you know? It's pretty awesome. Hmm. 30, 40. Let's see if we get lucky. Try to get more on the art cards. It, it, it didn't change. It's exactly the same. All the eggs in one basket. Let's go. Ninety-seven K in neutral, not bad. Got one crit, okay. Hmm. We're gonna take the crits where I got him. <laughs> well, if the battle doesn't end here, we're gonna get our MP again, probably, because his hit count is so high. But should we get a crit? Might need a double crit, hopefully not. I think the battle is gonna end, so no fun allowed. I could probably do his extra attack anyway. Yeah. Ooh, the battle's not over. Feels good. Mmm, don't want to re-roll those because that's, uh... I gotta live with at least one more turn here, though. We're pushing it on health. Man, we're pretty short on damage, though. Damn it! Well, I mean, he won, and it's, he, you know, he didn't embarrass himself damage-wise, but, uh... Bad. I, would, I think Izo 1v1ing Ziggurat would make a pretty awesome moment in an anime. I mean... How, how can we not? I mean, I mean, come on. I feel like Moriarty and Chin Gong would absolutely get along. I I very much think those two would get along. Like I uh, I think they're on the same page there. I uh, know, they need to buff Moriarty's NP. Because he's so NP focused, the fact that he doesn't have that much NP damage is annoying. Oh, 
Oh man, if I had known it was gonna be, I thought it was might be something else. I didn't know he fought him back to back. I would have done a bit more buff backing. I could have done a bit better than that then. I mean, this is still fine, but uh, he could have gotten more damage. Definitely. I'm gonna taunt Moriarty when he goes to NP. That way he gets more refund. He is so badass. そこなる度に思い出すがいいメルヘンマイネスレーベンス。うーん。あなた。MP5 キラメキましたぞ。うん。自分。ゲルダの涙よ。心を溶かせ。では、ジョーカーだ。キング。You guys have no idea how much I love this NP, dude. It's so good. I mean, we need to get some better music in here, hold on. Yeah, That's better. <laughs><笑><笑> I love that laugh, dude. <laughs> Area so spot on. Jesus, the damage though. Hell yeah. That's just, and that's just Han's not landing the attack buff, by the way. And then we do it again. I want to do the crit first because we're gonna break with the health, like with the NP, so I want to see it. Oh, wait, no, because of the health bar, we could have done it the other way. What am I thinking? Like, he's not dead, just the fight's gonna end. <laughs> Feels good, man. I wish you could, honestly, I wish you could just fight the other health bar there. Like, you, we can take that. You know, there, there's no like crazy gimmicks or anything. Like, they're always such killjoys like that, man. It really bothers me. It's like you can yeah, obviously you're not supposed to kill him here story-wise, but you just have it after you beat that health bar, he still retreats, right? Like remember in Camelot when you got a really hard boss just in chapter four, right? They just don't do that anymore. Well, I guess Lost Belt 5 did though. Lost Belt 5 kind of That's why I like Lost Belt 5 so much though. They you know, they kind of just consistently threw interesting content at you, right? Like I was never bored in Lost Belt 5 too. I am so looking forward to playing it again, man. I cannot wait. And we're gonna have a fucking 2k foe, uh, 10-10-10, level 100, Bontin, Herc ready for Zeus, man. It's gonna be great. Pop pops in the, the lip, you know? And then hopefully we have Asclepius by then. I'm gonna- I, I'm not gonna use my SQ anymore, uh, unless they like rate up a limited 3 star or something, but I'm gonna just keep saving it now for Asclepius, so then we'll just keep rolling story every time we get 30 SQ until we get a copy or two of them.
Got all these uh, non-fight chapters. Tell you, Aries just slotting so many things right now that I'm like, yeah, we can, we can show that off. Chen Gong is fine for like killing the assassins, but he doesn't really help Edmund any damage wise. Or we need Alexander. Yeah, I know it's your normal list, it's just you have a lot of units that I really like and I feel like showing off, so... FP farming indeed. Dr. Edmund. Dude, I want Alexander Dumas in this game. I just, it's gonna be so great. And I hope he has synergy with uh, Edmund. Nice timing, uh, Rex Terry there. This opening hand though. <laughs> How much NP gain can we get on Edmund here? Not quite enough. If they'd hit Edmund though, that would've worked. Of course, they didn't hit him a single time. The idea was to get Edmunds in P, then just kill all three of these and try to get a lot of refund, but uh, it's not really happening. Now I have to wonder if it's even worth it to NP. This hand though! Um, hmm. The deck's gonna shuffle. I'm gonna hope we get like a nice crit turn next. So I'm gonna go for it here. Unfortunately, we're hitting two assassins and a berserker though. So, pretty bad for getting MP back. I cannot wait to start getting face range fake stuff, dude. Like, oh my god. The thing is, the refund's not gonna be that amazing, but it's still gonna be okay with Hans. And then, uh, we, we, you know, 68 stars. Only got one admin card though, that's unfortunate. Still gonna light this guy up. それでまったくもうしなきゃいけないか。いや、ゴエリアスプリーズでルフ。いけるか。<笑> <laughs> hmm, damage or loop? Go for the NP. Um, we'll go for the NP. We could kill this giant really fast though, we probably wouldn't, wouldn't really need the NP, but uh... Damn, that had crit. That would have been really good. 
the 50 50s. And now I feel like we're gonna get our NP like right as we kill this guy anyway. Yeah, not really worth well. Look guys, we, we got David and Edmonds in P. And 37 stars. water there. <clears throat> Let's go Arthur. Bigger Excalibur. Having to fix my support list because uh, like I had Ricky Boy slotted and all that still. Where the hell is the CD? There it is, okay. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, this works. It's fine. Arthur makes so many stars with his second skill, you don't necessarily have to do Anniversary Blonde, but kind of keep the crits rolling. <clears throat> he's so good for this chapter now, he already was, but now that he's got the crit thing and his crits last multiple turns, you can really rip some people up. Hmm. I wonder. I wonder if I just used my third and second skill right now. If I would just delete that guy, probably. I might be able to not use my third skill though. Hmm. I'll save all the buster ups. Feels pretty good, man. You know, I could have saved Hans's MP just to overcharge Arthur's 4 MP damage. Attack up, attack up, attack up, attack up. There you go. Arthur, buddy, you wanna, you know, crit with either of those? Watch this mad star gin on Hans. Alright, here we go. God, that, that, that sucked. <laughs> Wasted a turn there. Lose our buffs and shit. Oh, there's three waves. Um, I wonder. If I had known this was three waves, I would have not used Hanzo's third skill yet. I'd, I'd NP right here, and then use Hanzo's third skill. I guess we NP without our anti-giant damage, any of that fancy nonsense. And uh, hopefully we don't kill the big boy and we do art art. Yeah, I should have saved Chin Gong's second skill. I should have saved Hans's third skill. I didn't need the battery. I could have used him right after this. 
世界を救う戦いであるシャオクスカリマーカッ Okay, I, I, I wanted the giant to live. I didn't so much want the assassins to live. That's a little awkward. Well, it gives us more time to get RNP back, I suppose. And then we get like the worst hand for doing that. Nice. Yeah, real, uh, real good there. If I, I, I want, if fuck, if, if I just had a but, I don't even need our NP. If I just had a Buster card, we could kill him right now. Feels bad, man. Like, I just need a Buster card, and I got this guy. I think the deck shuffles here, so... Um, nice crit? Jesus, probably should have taunted Hans or something. Okay, there we go. Do it again, Ari, you're awful. <laughs> that would have been so terrible. Like a regular attack wouldn't kill them, but if he'd crit again, that would have killed them. <laughs> Completely unnecessary stars there. This is back to paradise, but it's the 226k. Let's go. Um, but it's the remix from Super Robot. Robot? Robot. Super Robot Wars. Robots. I mean, Arthur's NP would have done way more damage than that, though. We, we, we never buffed Arthur's NP. Like, we didn't use his buster up. We didn't, we didn't do any of that. Inspired it generic style. God, we did not get any good use out of Hans's NP there. Feels bad. What do we want to use now? Hmm. Does anyone have Rama? Alright, why not? No, I don't think they're demonic now. Just giants. これは板ぶりがいのある。失敬。うん。攻略しがいのある敵陣ですな。ゲルダの涙よ。心を溶かす。Yeah, they should buff Rama. Like, he's not bad. He gets the job done. He's a, he's a good. He's a serviceable four-star. Saber, right? He's decent at nuking and he got some crits and survivability and stuff, but he's noticeably behind a lot of the other four star sabers, so I'm like, yeah, they could uh, they could get away with that. I could kill it this turn if I wanted to. Is it worth it to do that? Fuck it.
I'll save the buster up for uh, the next one. Jesus. I like how we barely crit with anything there, but uh, we only need one. That felt pretty un unsatisfying though. And Deer Mid's actually quite good. Like he's Deer Mid is absolutely better than 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 Rama, I would say. Like they're they're both totally serviceable, but Deer Mid is definitely better because I don't know where people get this idea that Saber Deer Mid is bad. Like what is wrong with you? Like he does doesn't do the best damage ever, but he has totally solid damage. His nice damage up skills, you know, quick uh, NPs do more damage, all that stuff. But he doesn't have an upgraded NP and that kind of thing. But then he has a massive amount of survivability because he has defense up and evade, so very tanky. That's, that's very useful. He can, you know, stay alive on his own. You don't need to, like, babysit him. And then he loops incredibly easily because he has a very high hit count and he has a quick up on his own. So it does not take a whole lot to loop with the guy. And he's got the NP gain and all that nonsense. So he loops, he does decent damage, and he's very survivable. It's like, is he, does he do the most damage? No. But he does solid damage and then he's very easy to loop with so it's like he's very good like he's crazy good like yeah he's not like the best saber but you don't need to be the best saber like saber deer mid very very good the fact that people think he's bad just shows me how little people understand this game like it's fucking ridiculous all right just get our np here and uh we're good to go pretty much <laughs> Jack has a half upgraded NP, but it doesn't really matter. Like, he's still super good. Jack does not need to be fighting a female to be good. Jack is just good, period, because she loops really well. She has, you know, solid utility and survivability. And then if you're fighting a female, it's just like a bonus, and so now you're doing really, really good. I wish... I wish Rama had a Buster card. Because we have crit up, attack up, and we're gonna get double Buster up. So we can MP the one guy, then crit the shit out of the other guy, but no Buster card, so it feels bad. But we already used both of our Buster cards, turn one, so... You know, what are you gonna do? And you know, I'll do that, just uh, some more MP gain on it. We don't need the MP gain on it though. Heal is only bad if it's like farming, right? But a heal is really nice. Because let's say you're using her, like, what are you talking about? Jack's third skill has a four turn cooldown! Right, so let's say you're fighting a really nasty, uh, like, challenge quest rider boss, right? Maybe you've got some, you know, uh, you know, typical, you know, supports that, like, everyone has, like, M.A.S.H. and stuff, right? So between M.A.S.H. and maybe a Hans or a Sclipius, or maybe you summon someone's, you know, Scatty or, or whatever, you know, you've got some solid survivability with those, but then Jack can kind of help out with, you know, fucking massive heal every four turns, then you have the Mystico heal, right? That's huge! Oh, you're, that's, that helps your team stay up big time. That gives you so much anti-normal uh, card damage. Like, yes, no, you know, it's not going to save you from an NP, but oh, look! Jack has an evade skill for the NP, and then Mash has got the invulnerability skill, and blah, 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 blah. Like, Jack is totally... Jack, to this day, is one of the best assassins in the game. And not only is she just useful and usable for whale teams and free-to-play teams and new players, like, she would have carried the shit out of that boss fight we just did against the giant tree. Like, she could probably just solo that, for God's sakes. But, like, not only not only does she just have all this damage and helps your, you know, the team stay alive, or she can use the heal on herself to just be selfish, she also has crit down, which is huge, because bosses critting you is one of the worst things ever. And she has a crit down on a skill, so that's great if you're working with another unit that has, like, crit down on their NP. So you, can, you have her use the skill really quickly, and then have them use the NP later, and you kind of just keep crit down going forever. But, oh, look, she also removes buffs, which is so good. It's ridiculous. Seriously, Jack is... I, I, if, if not the best assassin, one of the best. I think Kama might be better, because Kama's disgusting. 
Um, but Jack is one of the absolute best stats in this game. She's aged so well, it's ridiculous. Even if the boss is male, she still does very big damage. She loops her MP extremely easily. While she's looping, she, like, she's just naturally making an ungodly amount of stars. It's not like one of those servants where you have to, like, sacrifice a lot to make stars. She just does what, like, what you want to do on her anyway to get damage and to get her MP just results in you swimming in stars and you critting all the time. It's crazy how many free crits you get out of it, uh, out of her. Even if no one else on the team, you know, helps with stars. Oh yeah! And she ignores defense! Like, what is anyone smoking thinking Jack is bad? Like, she has everything you need out of a DPS unit and a bunch of bonus shit, right? She has an upgraded MP, it's only half upgrade, but that's still good, right? So it does really good damage, it has armor ignore, and there's loads of bosses where that's relevant. I mean, Jesus Christ, like that, the good good final, right? You could easily use Jack as your main DPS there. I swear I need to make a video of that just to, like, just, I don't like Jack, but like, good God. Like, seriously, I'm not biased in Jack's favor. I'm actually biased against Jack, because I don't really like Jack at all. But, uh, she's nuts. Like, she has, you know, she provides an MP on her own, she's got an evade, decently short cooldown, massive quick up, uh, you get buff removal, crit down, heal on, for a very large amount of incredibly short cooldown, uh, and then the armor ignore, and then if they happen to be female, now you're just throwing out absolutely bullshit damage and you're gonna break a health bar like no matter what. I mean, for God's sakes, there are a bunch of three turn, like, challenge quest kills with Jack when the enemy's not even a rider or a berserker. They just happen to be female, and then she's able to loop and just break every health bar. Like, she's bullshit. She is so strong. Like, she's good against every rider ever. She's good against every berserker ever. She's good against bosses that have a defense gimmick. And then she's good against every other class, uh, other than like, you know, caster and, and stuff like that, that happens to be female. That is so much more usable than most units in this game. Like, she is such a goddamn good unit. Like, I, I do think Kama is probably better, just because Kama is just so disgusting in, in so many other ways. But Jack is still totally usable, because uh, she still has her own unique stuff, like the buff removal and all that kind of thing. And you don't have to be the absolute best unit in the game to be good. Like, this is seriously coming from somebody that dislikes Jack, right? I do not like Jack, but you are out of your mind and you you have, you are terrible at evaluating this game if you think Jack is a bad unit. Like, you can definitely argue she's not the best assassin, sure, but if you think she's a bad unit, you have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah, she's like Carmella, but even stronger. Like, she loops e easier, and she makes, you know, more crit stars easier, get the buff removal, and she do good damage even if they're not female. Although, Carmella does good damage even if they're not female, too, to be honest, but, uh... She's not as good as Jack. Definitely not. Yeah, the top assassins, like, for, for, like, n for a normal player and a normal, you know, boss killing, it's definitely, like, Lee, Kama, Jack. That's definitely the top ones. Gramps is good too, though, but he's uh, he got some issues. Uh, he does make a really good last man standing, though, or bruiser, or solo unit, and that kind of thing. But his MP damage is truly pathetic. Uh, he kind of relies on having a higher MP rank and all that kind of stuff. Like, I, I, I see both ends with Gramps. Some people act like he's the best assassin, but he's definitely not. But then some people act like he's just, like, shit. And, like, that, that's not right either. Voyager. All these Luvias, man. Why not? I, I don't normally use foreigners against berserkers because it's kind of gross, but uh, these stages aren't hard to begin with, so it's kind of fun to just goof off and watch people do big damn. If you were wanting to focus more on that, you'd want to bring like Hohenheim or something, but you know, this account doesn't have Hohenheim, so... XNA on that one. Hmm. Not exactly the ideal hand here. Merry 
Oh my god, that sound effect is amazing. I just wish your stage one colors were better. Like, I really like this stage one in terms of like the design and it's just kind of funny, but uh, I, I hate the colors. Yeah, I've always said I, if I ever got MHX, I'm so torn on what I would actually do on stage because like the colors on this stage are awful, but I like how like super mecha it is. I just know I would not use her stage two. Her stage two is a travesty. I didn't realize her voice lines were like all like this in her stage one. Did we change that? I swear it looked like this before. Or am I just- I know she had some like that, but uh, am I just getting lucky? Her stage two is so ridiculous. Like what the fuck? We don't need the art up for damage, but I want that uh, MP gain. Like her stage three doesn't look like over the top and ridiculous, and it's got really good colors, but it's just a swimsuit. So I'm really torn on what I would go with. But yeah, definitely not stage two. I don't want my third skill. We're wa wasting it for the most part, but game P game. Yeah. Uh, that's funny. All right, let's just do that. If I could have her stage one with the stage three colors, that would be amazing. Flash Emperor, by the way. Makes me so sad that so many people don't realize that reference. And it's super on the nose, too. God damn it! All right, these are the last enemies. Let's go damage. I should've done the chain. I was hoping that first one would do a bit more, but it didn't. I should've done the chain. Oh well. Woo! Hammer fisting the little one, okay. No MHX cards. Also, I like how she's counterclassing them, so she takes like no damage and like, I don't think they've ever attacked her. Like, what the hell? They're just murdering the other two. I'm surprised they haven't added Archimedes, but I feel like with main antagonists, they don't really want to add them unless they add an event that's really applicable to them. Like they don't want to just randomly add Archimedes for no reason. Like if they did like an Extella Link event where it was like, you know, really focused on that, uh, then I think they would add him. Uh, or if they find a time in like the main story where they feel like he'd be a really good villain to use, then they might add him. But they're not gonna just like randomly raid him up, right? So, I think they feel that way about a lot of the main villains. They need like a, you know, a reason to add them. You know, they added BB because they did, you know, Fate, uh, CCC. <sighs> Hmm. Let's see if Herc can crit. Let's go. Get some Herc hype in here. 50%, what could go wrong? Damn it. That would have been so much damage, man. Look at this NP animation! Goodbye, Hans!
That was kind of awesome. It was super effective indeed. Or goy scary. Yeah, they didn't attack MHX worth a damn. They knew it was pointless. I don't think this account's really gonna need those giant rings anytime soon, if it if ever. <laughs> There's so many trash mobs which were, pl were playable. That's like every game ever for me though. Dude, I don't remember the name of it. It's some old, old, old ass game. Uh, it was like some really old, like, you know, turn-based, like, RPG thing. Uh, not, not like, uh, Final Fantasy or anything like that though. Like, more like, I don't know, classical, like, old school. RPG stuff, but like, you know, the the enemies you're fighting are just like portraits, right? And, and I was, basically I was just looking up a lot of music recently, and the, it was just the music from that game, and they just had like random screenshots, you know, from the game. And all the enemy designs I saw, I'm like, oh my god, these are amazing. We just had like really cool looking bad guys, there was like so many like, like, like they're just like their armored skeleton looked amazing. It looked like so much more heavy metal than normal, right? It was great. And it, But all the playable characters are like, eh. <laughs> but that happens to me a lot in games, so. Actually, some of the hilly trolls would be awesome, like the bigger ones with the shields and stuff, and the really big ones, like with the rock uh, elemental stuff. Like, I I'd be super down for playing those guys. That's a really nice picture there. It's pretty cool looking. There's some uh, Kirby games that you play as the bad guys. There's that one Kirby game on like, I, I think it's the 3DS or something, and you can play like every bad guy. It's kind of awesome. And Epic Seven lets you play trash mobs. Not all of them though, but a chunk of them. I have really bad units to support him. I have really bad units to support quick period, that's the main issue. Hmm. It's probably Valkyries, I would think. Fucking horrible synergy on this team, oh my god. Oh yeah, I mean, it depends on the situation, but overall, Fuma. Because yeah, as Eric said, they don't overlap that much, because AoE and single target and that kind of thing, but overall, you're gonna find more situations where Fuma is useful, like, easily. Because he's, he's got an upgraded MP, he's got a lot of defense down for the team, so he's, he's giving straight to, like, defense down is like attack up for the team, right? And he has two of them. Uh, and he got huge star gen, he's got buff block, which that buff block is a game changer in some boss fights, and he has attack down, crit down, like that's just so useful. Like Fuma is an awesome fucking unit. Honestly, this account should probably level him. <clears throat> like it is not rare to find boss fights for Fuma is extremely useful. Yan is awesome though. 
But uh, there's just a lot of better ways to get guaranteed crits for your teammates. So there's a lot of easier ways to do that. Well, there goes Hans. I should have done Hans's crit buff, but I thought he'd live at least one turn. But, you know, apparently not. If Hundred Face had her NP right now, it'd be really awesome because she's probably gonna get her art cards and then we could use his third skill and have her art crit, but uh, there's no point if I don't have the NP. Is it bad that I think Hundred Face is going to do more damage? Even though he's level 90 and she's level 70 and not maxed out. What 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 NP rank is, is is our boy? He's NP3! That helps. His stats are way higher than hers, and NP3 is, you know, pretty good. I still think she's probably gonna do more damage. It, it, it's hard to say. I like if he was in P5, I think I think he would win. But uh... his CE doesn't add his MP damage. I didn't. I didn't even look what his CE was. Eh, that's, that's still pretty good, though. Honestly, with how minimum his buffs were there, actually that wasn't bad at all. Like yeah, I'm not like oh my god, he's you know I mean better here obviously will be more than that, but. Like, it's, it's, it's so solid. I think he actually would have done slightly more than her there. They were pretty close. But where Hunter Face really excels is the fact that then her next MP does even more damage and it kind of keeps escalating. She's, that's the thing about Hunter Face, she does not have the best burst damage, but she's such consistent damage. Like, she doesn't really ever fall off on damage, she's just reliable like medium damage constantly and then on top of that she lives forever because she has a ridiculously short cooldown evade and heal so but that wasn't bad that wasn't even bad there is there's fuck i don't know how you say that thank you for the uh thank you for the two month resub dude twitch prime appreciate it man i don't think i'm the only one that would have a hard time saying that one Okay, this is this is I think this is the stage phantom so soloed back in the day. Either, there's a there's a couple of times you fight mini Valkyrie at once, and I don't remember which one it was, but uh Oh yeah, you're right. My, you're right. I think my hundred face is not MP5 on this. I, let's look. I think you're right about that. <laughs> Yeah, wow, she's MP4. Okay. So yeah, if she had been MP5, then she probably still would have done more. But it, it still would have been close. It's not that big of a difference between 4 and 5. I mean, we've used Kama plenty on this channel, and she's so overkill. I, I'd rather use somebody that, like, uh... We have a chance to, like, really show off. Hey, uh, Zah, are you here? Can we get- yeah, you're here. Can, can we get a different CE on Grey? I think it's her time. It's not, no, that's not true either. MP4 to MP5 isn't that little either, but it's not that big. But it adds up. Like, every, every all the things add up. Like, it really does. It's like 15% or something like that. Like, that, that's noticeable. Like, yeah, it's not like, oh my god, look how much stronger this unit is. But you will notice it. Like, you absolutely will notice it. Especially when, you, when you're com combining it with all these other things. You know, everything adds up. It's just like, I always say, coup from 90 to 100 is not, uh... 
you know, that big of a difference, but it's noticeable, right? But then you combine 90 to 100, then with a good CE, and then 2K foe, and then command codes. It's like, like this starts to really uh, add up. So it's one you it's on three one to three stars. You really want in P5. Oh yeah, you've got a nice uh, gray too. Gray is such I I I that's one of the, the more like uncontroversial welfares, right? I, I don't really see anyone complain about Gray, and it, like because she's not sexualized, she's just got a nice design, she's solid gameplay wise, not game breaking, but not bad either. She like no one was mad about Gray, right? Gray was such a like a universally liked welfare, which was nice. All right, here we go. Pretty gray unit, yeah. Uh, this account doesn't even have an AoE assassin. This is, again, where Fuma would be, uh... Swell. And again, we have no support to help gray out at all. We have no kind of... Benefit for her. And like, I gotta stress this. I think some people get the idea that I'm like, I have, there's something against like sexuality, right? It's not, sometimes it, it, it has its place and it's fine. It's not a crime, right? There's nothing wrong with sexuality in life or in media. It's, 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 it's literally fine, but not on the kids. Oh my God. Like it's, this is a really easy line, right? Like, cause, I, cause, and truly, I do see some people like get like go too far in the opposite direction. But like, oh my God, it's like this is not like some complicated thing, right? Like, God. Anyway, like you know, I'm not that guy that's like, oh my God, how dare you, you know, wear shorts or something, right? Like, that's fine. Like, it's not. A, I don't. I, it's it, not a problem. But not on the kids, for God's sakes. I like this opening hand though. Like I, I, that that's good. Um Hans might just die again, so I'm gonna do that, even though we can't use it this turn, but like there's a chance that he just dies. Because you know Hans things. No, nah, let's go for the lower health one. Try to kill that one before we NP. That's not gonna happen though. Like, we're probably gonna get our NP pretty soon. I guess I should have used my third skill. No, no, it worked out. Oh, we did kill the one. Jesus. How did we kill that one? I mean, I guess she is a level 100, but what the fuck? And I guess three of a kind bonus is still, but jeez. I'm actually sad the enemies don't have enough health here to really show off. Like, they're, they're not strong enough. I am hoping she won't do 95k with her NP. That would be the dream. Oh, are you rolling, uh, for Noelle right now, Zaw? Grats, by the way. Is she rated up now? Fucking Christ! That sucks! I wanted the... We had the guaranteed art crit! I shouldn't have done- I shouldn't have done so much damage up skills, I guess. Feels bad. Very too strong. Should've attacked the 58k one. Dude, I have 12,000 of like those tank quartz fragments type things in, in, in pack. 
And they're all just from like the base game. So I'm just saving, saving, saving. And although I do like Noelle, I'm definitely not rolling. I just hope I get spooked by her, you know, down the line whenever I do start actually rolling. Also rip Hans. And we could have looped our NP pretty easily if that had gone differently. Please hit. There you go. Right now, the only thing I'd want, I'd roll on in Kitchen Impact is if they rated up Gene or D Luke. I really don't care about anyone else. That I mean, there's other four stars I like, but there's I don't really care about the other five stars. It'll probably be a while before they get rated up because they're not limited characters. It, it can take new games quite a long time to start rating up on limited characters. Because everyone's all thirsty for the new units, so... We don't have as many damage up skills this time, but we still got like the Mystic Code and everything, so... I, yeah, Kai is pretty awesome. I really like him in Japanese. I, I really wish you could pick and choose which characters would be what language. It's a really rare feature, unfortunately. Yeah, Epic Seven has that, but they didn't start. They didn't start doing that until they were had been out for like a year or more, and that's pretty standard for games. Is they don't start doing kind of like generic rate ups for the normal characters uh, until the game's been out for a good while, because then the roster gets bigger and, and, and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I think it's I think it's gonna be a while because there's a bunch of characters that were in the beta that aren't in the game yet, and those are probably gonna be the next chunk of rate ups, right? It's gonna be quite a while before they actually rate up a brand new character, I think. And then uh, it's gonna be even longer until they're. I I'm just hoping they'll do filler banners, like in between the big banners and the big patches. We get like kind of filler rate ups, and I'm hoping some of those filler rate ups might be things like D Luke or Gene, right? That would be ideal. And I can't. I, I already have D Luke because uh, LOL Luxac, but because uh, I got it from my, my tutorial summon, I can't decide if I want to go for his constellations or not because it almost makes him too strong, right? I might actually enjoy the game less. If I got constellations on D Luke, because his const if you get a lot of his constellations, it just adds up and his damage is absolutely fucking horseshit. And I don't like being overpowered in, in games like that, so. I think we're fighting Valkyries again. Uh yeah, let's do uh Cleopatra. Gotta make a slight change here. This is very important. The thing is, I, I know this for a fact, because I know the game really well, and I paid attention. D. Luke is overrated as fuck, and I, I'm not trying to... He's not like he's bad, of course he's really good, but it's not really D. Luke that's good. It's if any, literally any five-star Fire Claymore user would be amazing. That the way the game is balanced right now, Fire is meta as fuck for so many things. And then five stars have the highest stats, and claymores are just the best fucking DPS units right now. And and D. Luke just happens to be the only five star claymore unit. Like he's not half as good as people think he is, and a lot of it just comes down to, to gearing, right? Like how you gear units. Like if you don't have a D. Luke that's like Omega geared and everything, he's not really gonna be blowing everything out of the water. Yeah, but it, it is absolutely whoever like if there was other if there was like say D. Luke was in the game, let's say D. Luke didn't exist. And they added some other, you know, the, there was a different five-star Claymore uh, user, you know, Fire, Claymore, Fire, you know, all that nonsense. Um, they would be the top tier one. Like, that's just, that's, it's obvious. Like, Claymore has the best moveset for DPS by far. They have the, and, and like, the way the stats are done for Claymores is the best. And then Fire is just meta. Like, that's overwhelming. Yeah, his skills are fine, but they're not really, there's nothing broken about them, like, at all. Like, it's easily, it's easily matched by, like, any other kind of, you know, like, there's plenty of DPS skills in the game that are, are, are kind of like that. It's just a Fire Claymore user is amazing. And he is significantly stronger 
with constellations. It's not even close. But ultimately, what dictates how powerful you are, and the fact that people don't realize this in Genshin Impact makes me want to just slap the shit out of them. What really dictates how powerful you are is not your character or any of that. It's your level, your gear, and then your team setup. That's overwhelmingly what matters, right? That, that's why that, that guy was able to beat all the hardest Abyss stuff with all the free-to-play characters. Because it doesn't matter. Like, it literally doesn't matter. Like, what, what matters in the game is, like, knowing when to dodge, knowing if the enemy movesets are, and then, you know, knowing what elemental combos make sense when, and then just having the appropriate stats. That's really all that, that you need, right? Like, there's the difference between characters is actually pretty minor. Now, and what I like about the game is you can get really far with really bad gear and really bad stats if you're just good, all right? And that's what I do. I, go, I literally go out of my way to not have stats that are too high for what I'm doing because that means you have to be good at dodging and you have to know the enemies, uh, like AI and their movesets and stuff. But like, this, the, the tier list in that game is, is dumb because it doesn't matter, right? Like, what, if you really want to just melt the enemy, you, you don't, it, like, like seriously, if you have D-Luke, like my D-Luke right now, because like, I intentionally keep my stats down, you know, he does okay damage, sure, but he's not melting things at all. But I, if I want to start melting things, it's not like, oh, gotta get like, D-Luke, it's no, you gotta get gear, right? That's how you start melting things. And then, you know, not sucking helps quite a bit, too. Okay, let's see how we're gonna do this. Um, I think I'm gonna cast this right away. We're wasting the heal, but I honestly don't think we're gonna need the heal on her at all. This is, like, if you're fighting a boss where they're throwing out big boy damage consistently, or like AoE damage, then you might wanna like kinda min-max the healing on her, but this is just not gonna be one of those, uh, situations at all. If Hans could live one turn and then use his MP when Cleopatra gets her art card, that would be ideal. Or I could art chain with 100 phase. Mmm. I'll wait. But I feel exactly about Genshin Impact's player base and all that, like I did what F goes. 95% of the player base has absolutely no idea what they're talking about, and they just, like, repeat information they've heard, and they, they wouldn't know how to, like, break down more complex mechanics and, and that kind of thing to save their life anyway. So I have absolutely- I, I, I give no shits about their opinion because they literally have no idea what they're talking about. Like, Efko is so bad about that, where there's just so many- And it's nothing, there's nothing wrong with having no idea what you're talking about when it comes to, like, hardcore mechanics. And, like, how much value do you actually get out of one Mystic Code versus another? Most people would have no idea how to break that down, right? And that's fine! There's no problem with that. Literally no problem with that. You're just playing your game, have fun. Great! The problem is when you have people like that that have literally no idea what they're talking about, and they wouldn't know, you know, how to break this stuff down to save their life anyway, and yet they want to spew an opinion like, like they know what they're talking about. Like, it's stupid. Like, literally nothing wrong with just playing your game however you want and just having fun. That's great. You're probably gonna have more fun that way, right? But then don't go on, on Reddit or whatever and start, you know, acting like you're an authority on, like, what's good and why. Most people wouldn't even know why something is good in the first- like, they wouldn't even know. Like, they can see this thing is performing well, but they couldn't actually tell you why, like, what, what, what mechanically is happening that's resulting in this. Because a lot of time, what they think is happening is, oh, this character is really good, but what's actually happening is, lol, this guy has insane stats, and that just makes it really easy, right? Jesus Christ, we have 200, we have 200 percent in begin on her. Let's get that attack up, let's go. Easy, land every buff. He's probably going to kill all of them. He's kind of good like that. I love that they gave her buff block, by the way, that's awesome. The like buff block options are nice, the more of those the better. And that's just a really fun niche on her, where you get like this nice damage, nice survivability, then also Buff block. Pretty swell. Five hundred and forty-one thousand damage. Not an event server. I mean, we're not like that is crazy. And then we go right into a crit turn. How do I want to do this? There's so much damage to be had here. 
I kind of want to just do this and see how much damage it does. Like, obviously we have 100 faces MP, but I mean... Good god! Imagine if she was level 100 and 2k Fode and all that, like, Jesus Christ! Again, this is really minimal buffs, too. We're not like, there's no Merlin, there's no Waver. I mean, we, we have Hans. It's like in 100 face. 100 face is, you know, contributing nothing in that department. And then look, we can crit again. This is disgusting. Oh my god, I wish I had Cleopatra on my main account, dude. What the fuck? That's just wild, because then you also have really good survivability and everything. Seriously, I want to see maximum Cleopatra. I want to see NP5 level 100, 2k foe, foe pause, command codes. Like, her, because her, at that point, her survivability would be nuts. Can you imagine if you gave her the heal boost? command code and then the 1k heal command code and then like you know crit up on her buster cards and shit like that like good lord if yeah, g impact is very exploration focused and then yeah just like core gameplay it's very exploration focused the fact that people try to get all about all this other bullshit that doesn't even matter is so silly i, I honestly hate a lot of the the mainstream kitchen impact like community. It's stupid. That's how like all these games get. The typical player is completely fine, obviously. They're just playing their damn game. Oh my god, you're right, Aerie. You could give her the, the buff success chance. Oh lord. Dude, I, I am so interested in seeing, like, you know, the, the, the Cleopatra guy, right? Like, I really... I, I, I think there's some serious potential there, because, like, I mean, I've always known she's really good, but, like, I'm looking at her, like, her page, like, she's got really good stuff, because her cooldowns are pretty short, man, 5, 6, 6, that's really good. Oh, yeah, and she removes debuffs. She gets invulnerability for a turn, 16 cooldown, removes debuffs, makes 20 stars, that's really good, and then she gets 40% NP gain rate, you know, a heal for 3 turns. NP uh, battery for three turns, you know, six turn cooldowns, that's good with Atlas. And then you get Imperial Privilege, you know, massive attack, up defensive, all that. And you can use that command code to make the success chance uh, way higher. She has an upgraded NP, comes with buff block, free bus drop, which is 30% for some godforsaken reason. Um, and it activates before NP damage. That is fucking crazy. And then her stat line is really good. Like, I really want to see a, a maximum Cleopatra. I think that could be an absolute, like, one solo monster, because the amount of survivability in this kid is crazy high, and she can get crits on her own, especially with command codes and everything. That is fucking crazy, dude. And yeah, you have buff block. Like, that's such a... It's so nice when you have a solo unit, and they also have buff block. Like, it's great. But yeah, I've always known she's a really good assassin, but uh, that is that is something. She just doesn't get, you know, focused on much. People kind of sleep on her, I think. By the way, Hans didn't die, so we didn't get Caesar. Feels bad. She killed everything too fast. Caesar was just back there waving with the, uh, the big arm. Hmm. Yeah, it's true. She hasn't had a lot of raid-ups. I got, dude, it sucks because on NA, uh, when I don't really play NA, and 2 NA is like so behind with buffs and command codes and everything. But in NA, I got her NP2 with just a few summon tickets. That was so stupid. I was just going for extra Vlad because I really, really like extra Vlad. And I got him in a few summon tickets too. That was, that was a good day, man. Chin Gong back in here. Freaking Korean uh, Guilty Gear OST, by the way, it's super good. I don't, I don't know why the Korean version got a different soundtrack, but it did, and it's great. 
At least you can get spooked by extra Vlad. The one good thing about extra Vlad, even if he is just MP1, is if the enemy is evil, you still get a pretty awesome damage boost. But because of that, you're just you're sitting there like dreaming of how much better it would be at MP2. The MP2 is such a large boost. これは床ぶりがいのある。Basically, want to. Um, I want to kill that. I'm gonna try to kill the the the. If I get lucky, I want to kill everything next turn. This is gonna be hard to accomplish, but it's possible. If I can get her Buster card next turn, I think she can just delete this guy. This guy needs to die this turn, which he will. Probably could have killed the middle one. That would have been better. Come on, Buster card, Buster card. Yes! Oh my God, this is what I'm talking about. And then we can MP next turn. Did I bring anniversary blonde? I did not. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Feels good. Yes, look at that. Beautiful. All right, now now we like blow everyone up because then we got our, uh, our buffed up thing and uh, that is awesome. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, Hans don't let us down. いい時代だ。資料集めにはことかかん。そこなる旅に思い出すがいい。In one job. はははははは。はじめ返上。権限せよ。三千大戦天魔。Got it anyway though. That was smooth, man. That that was that was some nice uh that was some nice stuff there. I like that. And we got like perfect value on our, our skills there. Super close. And he's really close too, oh damn. I haven't even like really trying to get his bond, but uh, I'll take that. All right, I think I'll wrap up there. That's a pretty good stopping spot. Uh, I will I will probably stream again uh, in like maybe 30 minutes or something like that. I'll play some Genshin Impact. Um, I think it's it for Epco today. But thanks for hanging out, everybody. That was a good time. Uh, I'm ready to beat the shit out of this Lost Belt. But yeah, I'll probably be back in like 20-30 minutes. But uh, yeah, peace out!